previously on Brotherhood Diaries. Cesare Borgia is the perfect nemesis. He's trying to take over the whole country united under the Templars. Their sole purpose is to kill Ezio. Centuries later, a Templar army masses. A prediction of global disaster looms, and the assassins struggle to turn the tide. As time runs out, Desmond Miles searches for the path to the secret temples that can save us all. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Diaries. When we, uh, we decided we wanted to add multiplayer in Assassin's Creed, we wanted to make sure that, you know, as everything else, it fits into the, the storyline. The multiplayer fits uh, basically at the current era, so 2012. It's meanwhile, uh, we follow the, the, the story of Desmond Nile. Abstergo is building an army uh, to fight against the assassins. Abstergo intends to create perfect assassins. So they took all the previous test subjects that had been in the Animus, they uploaded the skills from them, and now they're downloading those skills into the Templars. And you get to play as one of them preparing to fight against the assassins. Of course, Assassin's Creed is first and foremost Desmond Miles' story. He's basically uh, one of the last uh, true assassin in, on a genetic level that exists in the world, and he gets sucked into this millennia-long conspiracy. Desmond's objective in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is to find the Peace of Eden in Ezio's past, and then to use that apple to avert the disaster which is coming in 2012. My personal favorite things in the game is the VR missions. We have the Animus, and it's such a cool machine that we decided, why don't we have Rebecca code training programs for Desmond in the Animus. With that, we can teach the player really advanced moves and then use that in the game. One thing that was super important for us when we decided to build a multiplayer portion to our game was to take the core uh, gameplay pillars of our game. The pillar we have translated from the uh, single player are uh, basically the art of the assassinations. The second pillar is the uh, social stealth aspect. It's basically to blend with the environment. And the third pillar is all that uh, a free movement aspect of the franchise that are also translated into uh, the multiplayer. The multiplayer characters you're playing are uploaded memories of actual people that lived during the Renaissance. So these guys are part of the genetic material of the subjects. On top of that, you will have the ability to customize uh, their appearance. So the more you will progress into the game, the more you will be able to, uh, to change on the characters. Another really cool aspect is now that it's a person that you're chasing, it's a lot more unpredictable and they're a lot smarter than any AI that you can ever make. Once you kill the best, it's the most exciting thing. Brotherhood will feature quite a large number of game modes. The first one is what we call the Wanted, where each player has to assassinate another player. And then you have a game mode called Alliance. In this game mode, you have teams of two players, and each couple of players has to kill another couple of players. There's a million ways in which you can do cool things in the multiplayer because it's not about just killing people and the number of frags you, you have. It's, it's about you know, earning points and you can have top scores and just brag about it. I think the most important thing, we had to do it smart and uh, we had to do it very, very deep and very well thought out. I think people will be extremely, extremely impressed with this best Assassin's Creed.